All right, new project. I uh, bought uh, some of these. These are 280 amp hour lithium ion phosphate cells. I got 64 of them. Uh, gonna charge them up and then discharge them. <laughs> I don't know if I'll do every one, but I'll do a few at least. Maybe I'll do them all. Uh, I started out, I had, these in, I had these in series, so it made for a basic 12 volt battery, you know, but 14.2 is the most you'd want to see between the negative and the positive. I had these bus bars, you know, going between them to make, make them in series. And uh, I started out with an old battery charger that uh, I've had since I was a kid. This thing's literally, literally like 50 years old. Um, but I found out when you leave it on 10 amps for a long time, it gets the transformer in there gets pretty warm. So I took it apart, blew all the cobwebs out of it, and put this fan on there. And this fan kept it nice, you know. But uh, I had a bad, I had a BMS in line. They call that a 100 amp BMS. Can you believe that? Anyway, yeah. So I put it in there because I know everybody says you got to use a BMS, and I, I I get that. You know, we gotta want to be safe. But this thing doesn't work. Uh, I say that because I, would, I could get cells that would go up to 3.65. I'm watching them real close near the end. You know, I've got a real nice, i got a couple real nice meters, you know. They agree real close. And I'm watching them cells real close. And they got up there and they'd go over 3.65 a little bit. 3.67, 3.68. Point, point I know it ain't hurting them at that, but listen, don't do what I'm doing. Okay, I'm, I'm just telling you a story. Don't follow my advice on this. But the BMS did not shut off. So I don't think that thing works. <laughs> I took it off and then I went back and I individually topped up each cell using my buck, buck converter. Boy, that thing is awesome. This thing here, it's rated, it's called 10 amps, but it actually does about 13. So yeah, it took me a while to get these things up to, up to all the way to the top. I had them resting at uh, 3.5, between 3.5 and 3.52 each cell resting there after a while. And uh, now I'm discharging. So I got one of these guys here, it's a cool little thing. And then I put, a, I put one of these Drock, Drock uh, uh, Hall effects in there. So I'm going to see how these compare, right? So right now, um, they're very close. This is 2.79, and that's 2.75. So well, we'll see. We'll just see. We're just going to have fun. And I got another one. So I'll get two of these going at once. I'll be able to discharge two batteries at once. And uh, I'll get set up over here. I'll, get, I'll, I'll duplicate this. I made this anti-swell rack here, you know, so they can't swell up while they're charging. I'll make another one or two of them, and maybe I'll get, maybe I'll buy another couple of these Drock uh, buck inverters. It just works so nice. And um, top them cells up and do some discharge tests. So, yeah, just having fun. All right. If you got any input, just fire away. Just be easy on me though. I'm just a kid.